So Microsoft said that you need TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot to be available to boot Windows 11. If that's not enough, this OS only supports a handful of configurations with the latest hardware. Hey everyone, hope you're all doing okay. This is Rocat and this is Surface 3 which features Intel Atom, 2 gigs of RAM and only 64 gigs of eMMC which is painfully slow. The system requirements ticked me off so I decided to do this. Here is how it went down. Thanks to our community there are already Windows 11 Lite versions which can be run on low-end PCs so I decided to burn it on USB, plug it in and install the Windows 11 Lite but it was showing me that this PC can't run Windows 11. No problem I'll just have to do some registry modification and it should run. No? It's probably because of that Intel Atom processor. Okay, let's try the second workaround. I'll just replace the installer files with Windows 10 installer files. Okay, it should be good to go. Installation didn't take long and let's see what we've got. I apologize for the quality here, the capture device couldn't capture 1080p for some reason. Weird, but anyway. The experience is looking competent, I mean it's not completely fluid and snappy but it is what I would call usable. Tabs can open and Windows Explorer can manage basic workloads. Okay, let's see how much resources are being used. Wow, I mean the light version is taking this much, what's gonna happen when I install Windows 11 Pro latest version? This custom builds UI is a little old so it is not that optimized and the UI is looking like Windows 10 because it kind of is. Remember if you get 100% CPU utilization in these scenarios, chances are you don't have the graphics drivers installed. Let's try the full-fledged Windows 11. Oh wow, it's not a good sign. I mean we can't even get the full hardware acceleration, but let's not jump to conclusions. And it's fully loaded. One thing I noticed after using it, the OS will take a while to load the contents into RAM, but right after it feels smooth for a little while till it has to load other content. I would call it somewhat usable. Let's try setting up our page file and see if we can make a difference. It still takes time to load, but after the initial loading and parameters set for paging file, it does feel somewhat more usable than before. And you know what? After a little bit of tweaking installing latest drivers and setting up page file, it is what I would call um usable. If you do want to install Windows 11 on low-end hardware, you should wait for Goat Spectre release of Windows 11. He said that he will put out a custom build when the final release comes out. I'll be honest, it's pretty easy to forego the system requirements for Windows 11. Microsoft knows about these workarounds. If they give the OS a wide exposure, they can know about potential bugs, security threats, instabilities and vulnerabilities, hence patching them in the final release. And these system requirements are going to be much more sophisticated and harder to crack. I look forward to install the final release on an Intel Centrino. I've been using 11 since it was late and even still it is riddled with bugs. Think about it, Windows 10 came out in 2015 and more than 6 years of optimizations and tweaking they need to fix a lot of stuff with 11 and if they can do that in the final release then it will be worth it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, catch you guys.